Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day for me because I'm going to get this sucker running. Now, I filmed an intro, but I guess I didn't hit record. I deleted it something, so I'm redoing this later on. But what I left out was basically me ordering parts and them arriving. So what I ordered are these Indy Firehawk 500s for the tires. They are uh, 245 40 R18s squared all around so that's what we're putting on the car that's actually what already was on the car but they're flat spotted so i'm not even gonna mess with those we're just gonna get new ones next up ordering a brand new header this nice tomei header it is a little pricey but definitely will be worth it since i rather not cheap out and go borla again i had to repair that like four or five times quite annoying so this tomei should do the trick now all we got to do is wait on these to arrive. I also sourced an engine locally, so I got to go pick that up. But first, uh, we're going to jump back into the video here right after I got the tires installed because I forgot to film where it was a UFO waiting and the tire uh, mounting process. So that's where we're at. Next clip you'll see is me talking about the tires and then the video continues from there. So I'll see you at the end once I film the outro. And she's back on the ground. New tires installed, old wheels, and very, very dusty. I hope you can see that. So I definitely need to clean this thing. I think my next step is going to be spray out the engine bay because there is some oil residue from when it blew up. So that'll be our next task. Clean the engine bay, pick up the motor tomorrow, Header comes Friday, so I think Sunday, this will all be done. Or I'm just going to play hooky on Thursday and get the engine installed. But I kind of want to put the header on while the engine's out, if that'll work. But we'll find out. Stay tuned. All right. Well, I'm in the truck, and I'm on the way to get the engine. Yep. Finally. So, yeah, I'm headed that way. Sorry if the camera's not really aimed at me and I'm not looking driving right now so gonna be about 15 minutes hopefully we can winch it in the back of my truck we'll see what happens I'll update you when I get back in the truck all right I just picked up the motor it's in the back of my truck I don't know if you can see that is back there but heading home gonna cherry pick it in the garage for now I might actually have to cherry pick it back into my truck into the driveway so we can put it in the car but that's going to be figured out in a couple days, so next up is just get it home and get it in the garage. Okay, it's the next day. I'm sorry about all the fan noise, but it's hot out here and humid, so I need some fans. New engines on the stand. Old engines over here. I pulled my flywheel off. It's been popped on. It's torqued on. I pulled my motor mounts off. Those are in. I need to torque them down. The reason I put this on the stand, and you'll see here in a second... The guy I bought it from had the exact same issue as I did with my oil cooler. I think he said he had a Mishimoto. I'm pretty sure the one I had was a knockoff Mishimoto. The connecting, the fittings up here actually decide to leak. And then you just get your timing cover covered in oil here. So, yeah, he says he's going to give me some engine clean. He does say the engine runs. He took a video before it was pulled out. I can verify it was this dirty. In his video so maybe I can get him to send me a clip and I'll put it in right here but fuel all drained uh, gonna buy a new belt once I get it on the car I'm gonna swap pulleys I do it now but if I do it now it's gonna be a pain in the butt if I had the transmission hooked up way easier so I got my lift mount still installed next up is I got to get the wiring harness all done after I clean this up um, don't think I need anything else off this, but keeping it here for now, just in case, on this pallet. Like I said, the block's done for unless someone wants to build it. If someone offers me 500000 bucks, I'll take it. So, that's where we're at. We'll get the uh, wiring harness done once we get this clean. So, probably tomorrow. Alright, just got back from the parts store. It is the next day. I had to work this morning, so I had to take a pause. I also... Didn't do anything yesterday because I was absolutely exhausted after work, but got our two bottles of coolants because we need about 7.8 quarts. Battery was warranted a second time and 
four years because the last time I drove it, I warrantied it. So got that, of course. Brake parts cleaner. You never can have enough. They only need three cans. I bought two. I figured someone might have an emergency and need one. So I'll go back. They're going to send me a $5 coupon. So I'll go back and get a couple more later. Engine degreaser. Basically brake clean in my head. Uh, then we got engine cleaner here that my buddy dropped off who I bought the engine from. I don't know if that's going to be enough for that and the engine bay. So I bought a second one. If I don't need it, I'll use it on a truck. This is also another engine degreaser. I think I'm going to start with this because there's a lot of oil from his oil cooler exploding. So we're going to try that out. Next step, roll this guy outside, pop the hood, get the hose out. And we're going to start cleaning. So first, I'm going to take a little break because it is hot. I would like the sun to set a little over the driveway and then we'll get set up and you'll see me right here. much better looking than it was so uh all my blue tape kind of blew off all over the ground kind of got intense went some with engine degreaser brake clean all the things still some spots here and there that need a little cleanup but i just wanted to make it look decent so i'm not worried about all the little spots back in the nooks and crannies just wanted the main front cover timing cover clear so next up time to wire this up i actually already did the engine bay off camera so sorry to cut myself off there but i already sprayed it down it's probably still got some residue around but it needs to air dry once it's air dried hook everything back up well i guess not here hook everything back up here wiring harness wise probably gonna use the stock header because the other one got delayed and won't come until monday and it's only saturday so tomorrow is a big day but next we're gonna wire this all right it's so next morning time to play with some spaghetti Update time. So motor is off the stand. I know I didn't film that. Didn't think it was necessary. Harness is all connected. I only had one issue. Well, technically two, but one issue here. Let me get over here so I can show you. So this sensor right here actually had a different connector than what I have. And I verified everything else is in the right place. It was just this connector. Verified on my old motor, which this is the one I took from it I just swapped them out so my harness would fit shouldn't be a problem hopefully not like I said these are the same year car so I'm kind of confused maybe this is a 14 but either way that shouldn't matter um yeah that's where I'm at with that uh kind of hit a hiccup here as well 
I seem to have misplaced one of my clutch bolts. I don't know what, how that's possible. They were in a baggie. I must have been in a rush, dropped one. So, gotta wait on that. You can see I got five in here. The other, the pressure plate's over here, so. Guy that I bought the motor from says he's got one. So I'm gonna go pick that up once he's available and we'll get back to it. So, see you then. All right, so this might be a continuation of an update. I don't remember if I was filming or not. So if I just was talking, I'm sorry. I'm gonna continue talking for one second. Got the header installed. Lightweight pulley is now installed. I also got all the wiring done. Clutch is installed. And the car's out there on jack stands ready to go. So next step, drop her in. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stand strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. All right, motor is in. So you saw I had a few struggles getting it on with the header. If you look underneath, there's no header right now. Uh, the one I ordered is out for delivery so hopefully that'll show up today rather not put on the stock one than have to pull it off put it back on we're just gonna do this uh next up is just continuing to connect everything i did a few things off camera Let's torque everything put in the air box just gonna do the stock one with the drop in for now got to put a belt on before that obviously tighten the ac compressor down it's no longer here. Fuel lines. Gonna wait on the strut tower bar until we know everything's good. Connected. There's no vacuum leaks or weird connection issues. Gotta hook up the grounds for the engine. Starter's right there. That's where we're at. Let's keep going. To be what I want, I'll keep dreaming. Just another quick update. Belt is on, transmission's torqued. We have grounds on the bottom of the engine hooked up. Coolant hose is hooked up. Coolant hose up top. AC compressor's hooked up. We need to do those still. Need a battery. It's in the garage, so we're almost there. All other hoses are hooked up. Starter is on. So really, there's only a few more steps and we can fire this thing up. But I'm gonna wait for that header, so. We can do the other things first. Plus, I need to flash a stock tune onto my computer or we'll have some problems.
I've been wrapping a few things up here, put on the stock crash bar, got my hella horns back installed. Fluids are all in, I don't know if they recorded. You may or may not have seen that. I still want to add coolant because I didn't get all the way through the seven-ish quarts it takes. Uh, but in that time, here is our header. UPS dropped it off. So now I'm going to open it up, throw it on the car, go through the OFT madness that I'm working with right now because I have to redo my tablet. I guess the V4 tunes are causing checksum errors and I'm having that problem. So put the stock tune already on the car. So maybe we'll fire before we flash the stage two plus two. All right, we got a license plate frame, hardware, stickers, cool. Roll of header wrap, I don't know if I'm gonna use that. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. Is our lovely, lovely headache. Woohoo! Set it on the bubble wrap now. Wow, ain't she good looking? Have to pull this guy off. Shoo! That is a Sexy header. Alright, we'll, we'll skip the header up. Now it's supposed to fit. Just pop some gas in, about two and a half gallons. All we gotta do is wait on this guy. I know my windshield's dirty. Well, we are uh, putting our stage two plus on there. So once this is done, it's time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hop in. This is happening. This is happening. All right, we're just gonna hang that there. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta, I gotta scoot the seat up because I'm not that tall. Oh shit. Well, here you go. I got it set up. Here's the key. Oh, oh man. Oh man. I'm like, oh man, I'm half nervous. And way back. Alright, there we go. Alright, guys. Clutch is in. Here goes nothing.
think we need to check our readings. Okay, I gotta figure out what's going on here. Alright, so it did fire first try, that's best thing ever. Uh, did forget to hook up a vacuum line, so that's why I was hissing as soon as I hooked it up. Hissing gone. Topped off the coolant, spilled a little, whatever, it'll burn off. So, let's try that again. Alright. I got the heater running full blast, so sorry for the wind noise. She's alive! A year and 11 months, we're back, baby. Oh man, that doesn't even focus. We got 12K less on the motor. It's a 2014, my 2013. So, now all I gotta do is put the bumper on. Here, let me turn the camera. Just get first. Okay, now all I gotta do is put the bumper on, uh, all the shielding underneath, and then this is good to go. I gotta go get it inspected and registered. Oh, I'm so happy. We're gonna go for a drive here in a minute. It's been a little bit of time since I filmed that first drive, but it, the car is running great. I did a couple things off camera. I got a detail on the car, and it immediately rained afterwards, but luckily I was able to get it in the garage and then couldn't drive it for a few days because it was raining a lot. I also put on the new windshield washer tank. That way I can spray my windows if something gets on there. You can see the tank through here. Hella horns are installed. I need to do something about this and paint it or something just because it kind of stands out plus I don't have the old bumper which kind of covered this area there is a gap here not gonna worry about that do have bumper sag got my license plate bracket on car got inspected registered so legal for the road but it does look freaking fantastic so let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a look under here thing and there she is in all her glory got the new 
well, not new, but the strut tower bar reinstalled. I need to do the one in the trunk. I'll show you where that's at as well. I could put the covers on over my belt here. I don't know if I want to or not. I kind of just like the raw look of it. Put the engine cover on. Yeah, it only covers up like two hoses. You see everything else. Uh, got my LEDs in the front hooked up, but I have to do the switch panel inside. Stock intake. Drop-in filter. There's my washer thing. I don't remember where it attached to, but I don't think it was there. And I don't think it was there. I'm just going to have to figure that out. It's kind of just sitting here for now. But it works. So, that's all that matters to me. So let's hop inside, look how she looks inside. Mind you, I didn't get an engine detail, so if you're wondering why it looks a little dirtier, I only wanted the outside and the interior. <clears throat> All right, in the trunk here, you can see I actually cut these out this time around. So these are actually now visible and I can have my trunk board. Can't put the carpet back in, but just need to reinstall the strut tower bar back here. And then it's fairly clean under there as well. Jumping inside, it is so much cleaner. It was way, way dusty when I got, or whenever uh, I let the car go for two years. It just looks so much better. Front, rear, everything. Everything looks good. So now, let's go ahead and uh, start her. good gets a little wobbly on start maybe it's got a cam who knows I'll just say it has a cam so the FRS is all back together running with a new to me engine 12k less miles on that engine and the detail looks fantastic I couldn't handle driving it while it was still looking raggedy on the outside and the inside was pretty dusty as well because I left the the windows down for that two years and never rolled them up but otherwise i am enjoying the car sorry i didn't get to go for a drive we'll have to do that in another video if you have any questions comments concerns you know where to leave them as well if you can uh do the things with the buttons over there i'd appreciate it as well i thank you all for stopping by hope you have a great rest of your day and take care